Do you want to migrate Microsoft Planner plan? Learn how you can migrate data in Microsoft Planner. Microsoft Planner is a great application that helps to manage tasks and collaboration across the teams. In the modern organizations, probably you will meet the cases when your team will split or maybe people will see that you have great solution and wants to get exactly the same application on their own. In this video, I will show you how to migrate existing planner plan to the other Microsoft 365 group or other team in the organization. If you would like this video, please leave the thumbs up. If you want to get the notifications about the new videos, please subscribe to the channel. You will see that the migration of the planner is not that difficult because natively in the user interface you have the solution to do the copy of the plan. What does it mean? It means that this is not the move of existing plan from one location to another. This is more just doing the copy of existing solution. In such case, if you want to clean it up, probably you will first need to copy the plan and then remove existing one after the new plan will be created. Let's try it. You can see that if you doing the copy of your existing planner plan, you will also need to integrate it with existing Microsoft 365 group and the SharePoint side behind it. It is important because files attached to the planner are hosted in the SharePoint, which is created for this Microsoft 365 group. Also, you can see that there's no way to move attachments. It means that after you will create the new plan and wants to move the attachments also there, you will need to do additional migration on the SharePoint level. So let's create the copy of this plan and create the new one. After some time, you will notice that in the recent plans, you will found the new plan copied from existing one which is exactly one-to-one -one copy from the way how you're working with the current plan. All buckets are copied, categories are copied, all tasks are copied, but no attachments. Remember, if you need to copy the data, you will need to open the SharePoint. When you will open the SharePoint created behind this planner and go to documents, this is the space where attachments also are saved. There's no easy way to link it back to the new planner, but still you can move the data using standard SharePoint move or copy to solution and select the new space where the new plan will be created. You can see very easy process.